Consumption function is a stable function of the real income. MPC is lying between 0 to 1. Your uh, as income is going to increase, APC is going to fall. MPC itself probably can decrease or it will remain constant. And consumption function will have a positive intercept. And that positive intercept is what is known as the autonomous consumption. So even if income is zero, you still have the, uh, you still have some consumption. Keynesian consumption function. So you write Keynesian consumption function in this way. So C is equal to F of Y. That is, it is relating consumption to income. Pehli baat to ye. And it is saying that as income is going to increase, consumption is also going to increase, but less than proportionally than income. So it is not that uh, if your income is going to increase by whatever amount, consumption is also going to increase by that amount or more than that amount. So uh, it relates how consumption rises as income rises. Consumption rises as income rises, right? Achha, consumption function may, when you write this consumption function, and you have to understand that this consumption is an ex ante consumption. Ex ante consumption. So ex ante consumption is, which was intended, right? Not the actual, it is not actual. Similarly, Y is the intended income. Y is the intended income, not, uh, not the exact uh, uh, income or uh, actual income. It is a planned income, right? It is the anticipated income. Okay, and also when you talk about this consumption, consumption is the real consumption here. And income is the real income here. Income is the real income here. So let us say you have this kind of the graph. So you have consumption. You have income out here. Income. Consumption. Right. And let us say your C is equal to A plus B. By. <clears throat> so if Y is going to increase, there is still going to be some amount of consumption. So that makes that you have a positive intercept out here. So let me just draw it like this. Right? Let me just draw it like this. So I'll rather also draw it this way. It's rather better for me. So you have P or P dash O right now. And this guy is the 45 degree line. Right. This guy is a 45 degree line. Now, this I don't like. So, let us just draw the graph for consumption and income. First of all, this is a 45 degree line. So, 45 degree line, you guys know, na? it shows what? It shows that uh, whichever point you're going to pick up, the income and consumption, that is going to be same at that particular point. That is what, con uh, that is what your 45 degree line is. And let me just draw this function C is equal to A plus B Y. So when Y is zero, consumption is still going to be there. It is not dependent upon income. Uh, that part of consumption. So let's say this is there. Right. Let me call this as P. Let me call this as P dash. This is O. And they are intersecting, let's say, at point T. So this is what C is equal to A plus B Y. C is equal to A plus B Y. So you know now if Y is zero, there is still going to be some amount of consumption and that is going to be this thing. Right? Autonomous consumption, which is not dependent upon income. That is a fifth point in the consumption function. So, but I'll let me just write it properly. Now, first point is 
that uh, <clears throat> consumption function is a stable function of the real income. So if your income is going to rise, consumption is going to rise proportionally. Proportionally. Because it is riding, rising proportionally, uh, it, is, it becomes a stable function. So consumption function. is a stable function of real income. Is a stable function of real income. Dusra point. You can see that C is equal to A plus B Y. Yes, we can. We can find out what DC by DY is. Yes, we can, which is equal to B. So B is, this is nothing but MPC. What is MPC? Marginal propensity to consume. What does it show? If income is going to increase, how much consumption is going to increase? And that is given by B. How much consumption is going to uh, increase? That is given by B. Fair enough. Can you see the slope of uh, this guy? So let me call this line as uh, PQ. Right. So the slope of this line is given by, let's say, alpha. Let me call this angle as beta. Right. Okay. Can you see slope of PQ? Slope of PQ is positive. One thing which we know about slope of PQ, that slope of PQ is positive. It is not a horizontal line. Now, the, the slope of the horizontal line is going to be zero. So, slope of PQ is greater than zero. First thing. Okay. And you can see that this slope is less than the slope of the 45 degree line. So, 45 degree line is steeper than this line. So, slope of Forty-five degree line is tan forty-five degree. That is one, right? Uh, or, एक बात सोचिए अगर आपकी income सौ रुपए से बढ़ती है तो आप अपनी consumption को सौ ही रुपए से तो बढ़ा सकते हैं कि उससे ज़्यादा से बढ़ा देंगे। uh, जितने से income बढ़ेगी उतने से या उससे कम से ही तो consumption बढ़ेगी। so MPC has to lie between 0 to 1. Na. So ho sakta hai, aap kuch bhi na badae. Apni consumption core ye bhi ho sakta hai ki aap puri badae dhe. Lekin usse jyada to nahi hoga. It has to lie between 0 to 1. So what we want to show is that the slope of this line PQ. PQ is what our consumption function is. It is between 0 to 1. It is greater than 0 and it is less than 1. So MPC is lying between 0 to 1. That is the second point <coughs> what uh, Keynes wanted to discuss. Firono ne kaha that as income is going to increase, APC is going to fall. What is APC? APC is C by by. So ye to humko dik bhi rahe, beta, as income is increasing. APC is falling. As income is increasing, APC is falling. Okay, this is a big thing. Let's analysis a little First, your C is equal to A plus B by. Okay, okay. Ji. What is C by Y? A by Y plus B. Okay. It means APC is equal to A by Y plus MPC. MPC is B, na. So you can see now that APC is MPC plus something which is positive. So naturally, APC is greater than MPC. APC is greater than MPC. Okay. So as income is increasing, average propensity to consume is falling. And the relation between the average and marginal for anything is going to be like this. That if average is falling, marginal is going to be less than average. Marginal is going to be less than average. Huh? So, as income increases, APC falls and MPC is less than APC. Keep this thing in mind. Other thing, what is this line looks like? 
Okay, at point T, what is the income? Let us say S. Okay, you can see now, I mean, if you move from this point to this point, this point to this point, so your income is increasing, right? So let me just divide this between two parts, before T and after T, right? So here you have APC, right? And this APC could be studied in terms of before T and after T. You will see what is so important about T because at T your APC is going to be 1. I'll tell you why. Just look at what is happening to APC at T. What is APC? APC is consumption upon income. At T, what is the consumption? T, S. At T, what is the income? O, S. Right? T is lying on the 45 degree line. So, T, S is equal to O, S. So, APC is 1. Okay. Before T, if you look at APC, you look at APC such as uh, before in before T, you can pick up points such as what? Uh, say P dash. At P dash, what is APC? Consumption upon income. What is that? OP dash upon zero. That is infinity. That is infinity because at P dash, there is no income, right? So before T, can you say that APC is greater than 1? Before T. At T, APC is equal to 1. Before T, APC is greater than 1. Fair enough. After T, you can pick up any point, whatever you want to pick up, right? After T, you can pick up any point, whatever you want to pick up. Let's say you pick up a point such as this. Just to make you understand. Like this. Right? Hmm? You don't need that, but this is what um, R and what W. Hmm? So after T, what is uh, Say at R. What is APC? Consumption is RW. Income is OW. So you can see that this is less than 1. RW is less than OW. by. So this is less than 1. Okay. So I mean the question is what are you trying to say? Okay it is less than 1. Okay it is greater than 1. What are you trying to say? We are trying to say. Before T. You can see relatively your income is lesser as compared to after T when your income is more, one thing. All of us can see that. So when APC is greater than 1, it means poor people at low income at low income, people spend higher proportion of their income you can see now this is what the low income part is i mean don't have to mark this main bas samjhane bhar ke liye likh raha hu aise this is the low income part. This guy is relatively higher income part. Hmm? Right. Higher income part. So at higher incomes, right, consumption, uh, uh, people tend to save more proportionally.
people tend to save more. Right. So this is what he said about uh, APC MPC uh, in the third point, right? In the third point. So keep these points in head, right? And then he said something about the marginal propensity to consume. He said this, if you look at uh, MPC, if you look at MPC, this is the fourth point. Okay, I'll write it separately. Fourth point. Right. That is, uh, he said that MPC itself is going to decrease or it will remain constant. Itself. Right. Probably decreases. Or remains constant. So when it will remain constant, when you have a linear function, no? You see, this is a linear consumption function. So here, if you find out what dc by dy is, you can say that it is equal to b. And probably decreases while a case when you have a nonlinear function. It's a concave function. then MPC itself can also decrease. But here you have assumed just the linear function. That is the fourth point. And the fifth point which he said was, which you have already done, what, what he said about the autonomous consumption. So he said this consumption function is going to have a positive intercept. And that positive intercept is showing you the autonomous consumption, this one. Even if your income is zero, you can have consumption and you will have consumption. Right. So, and in our case, A is what the autonomous consumption. So, this is what A is. In C is equal to A plus B by, this is what A is. And this is the positive intercept. This is what autonomous consumption. Autonomous consumption means, I mean, it is not dependent upon income. It is not dependent upon income. Even if income is zero, you still have it. So this you call at as the fifth point. Hmm? This you call as the fifth point. So consumption function is a stable function of the real income. MPC is lying between 0 to 1. Your uh, as income is going to increase, APC is going to fall. MPC itself probably can decrease or it will remain constant. And consumption function will have a positive intercept. Uh, and that positive intercept is what is known as the autonomous consumption. So even if income is 0, you still have, the, uh, you still have some consumption. So, and this is what the analysis, which you, which you, uh, which you have done. <clears throat> so I hope it was, uh, you still have some consumption. So, and this is what the analysis, which you, which you, uh, which you have done. <clears throat> so I hope it was of some use to you. Right? Thank you. Bata.